upload a web page. Click Media, then Web Page. Name the web page, and you can give it a description if needed. Then copy and paste the URL here. If you want to add tags, add them here. Then set the default duration that the web page will appear in a playlist. You can set an optional expiration date for the web page, or keep these boxes ticked so the page never expires. You can set a fallback image that will be displayed if the web page fails to load. This way you won't have a blank screen until you restore your connection. Then set the zoom factor, which will allow you to zoom in and out of the web page on your digital sign, the same way you would on a computer. Auto adjust zoom is on by default. When this is on, it will ensure that all your web pages look the same, no matter the resolution of your screen. If you toggle refresh web page on, you can select a time period that will refresh the page automatically. If you want to adjust any of the advanced settings, we recommend that you reach out to our support team first. By default, the web page opens in a private browsing mode. You can disable this if you want by clicking disable private browsing. Enable Chromium is on by default and we recommend keeping this on. This will display web pages that don't work on the default browser, WebKit. Retained session data will keep the same login sessions active, even if you reboot the player. So if you're displaying a web page that you need to log into, by retaining session data, you won't have to log in every time. Chromium must be enabled for this feature to work. If you want to display a web page that requires a Flash plugin, make sure you enable Flash here. If the web page requires an older or newer user agent, find your current user agent, copy and paste it in this box, then adjust it for your web page. If you enable Ignore Certificate Errors, this will skip error pages that might show up before entering a web page and show the page straight away. You can add your own custom script by toggling Run Custom Script On, then add the script in this box. For more details on running your own script, click the link below. Then click Save and your web page will be ready to display.